Well, howdy. These are the parish announcements for the Tomorrow River Lutheran Parish for the fifth Sunday in Lent, March 21st, 2021. Let's start with our worship life. We are continuing to worship outdoors. 9.30 at Nelsonville, bring a chair, bring a mask, bring a glad and grateful heart so that uh, we can gather together under God's word and in the presence of our neighbors so that they can see that this is something that we value, that the word of God is something that we cherish. I would love to see you there. I, it would help us if you pre-register uh, in case we need to do contact tracing. It, uh, it's, it's a great help to us. And so there's a link below this video and there's a link in the email that directed you to this video. We're pretty serious about it. We are going to continue worshiping outdoors for the foreseeable future, by which I mean at least through the summer. But, and here's the word you've been waiting for, we are working to get back inside. And I can tell you from the uh, working group uh, representing both councils that our target date is either April 18th or April 25th. Now, of course, that's dependent on things going right for us, breaking right for us in the world. It's dependent on the number of vaccinations continuing to go up and case numbers continuing to go down. If that happens, by God's grace, we will be back indoors on either the 18th or the 25th. For a little while, it's going to feel different than it felt before the pandemic. We're going to be uh, following all of the best rules and all of the best um, uh, suggestions of the infectious disease experts. We will be having uh, limited numbers at each service. If I have to do six services, I'll do six services. If you want to come to church, church will be open for you. Don't worry about that. Now, but there'll be limited numbers at each service. We'll be social distancing. We'll be masking. Uh, we won't be, we won't be uh, uh, moving freely. You know that there'll be ways in and ways out. Uh, you know the drill. You've been doing the drill for a year. Um, as more and more people are vaccinated, as we get new information from the CDC uh, and from the, the Wisconsin Department of Health, uh, we can relax some of those uh, measures, please God, but at least we're going to start with a, with a pretty regimented life when we come back inside so that we're not uh, hurting anyone and we're not making things worse in our community. But it's coming. We're going to keep working on and expanding uh, the online presence. For those of you who've come to uh, rely on these videos that we make each week, we are going to keep making them and we are going to be working uh, diligently to improve them, to take the next step forward uh, in, uh, in our virtual life together, giving people opportunities to gather virtually, to discuss virtually, to study virtually. Uh, we have lots to think about, uh, about uh, how we have members of the church who are exclusively uh, virtual with us. And so if you want to talk with me about that, fight with me about that, uh, that would be great because of course we want to protect uh, the rights of those who are virtual and those who are uh, who are gathering in person. We also want to make sure that everyone knows their responsibilities so that we can be church together and we have to work all of that out. We haven't imagined, at least not all the way through, what it means to be a member of a church when you never gather and we're starting to imagine that now. So there is a lot coming. Uh, I get my second vaccination on April 3rd. Uh, I'm a little nervous about April 4th, Easter, which will be an outdoor service uh, like the first Easter was, if you remember, right? Um, so we'll be fine there. That will be good. Uh, but then two weeks after that, I should be safe to be around you and you should be safe to be around not just me. I'm, I'm, I'm just one person. But the vulnerable people with whom I have contact. We're also hoping, Pastor Gretchen and I, that sometime in the latter part of April we can resume uh, home communion visits with our shut-ins who have also been vaccinated. Thanks be to God, it has been so long since we've been able to, uh, to, sh to share together the Lord's table with those folks. We are almost there, church. Hold on. Keep the faith. Continue to serve your neighbor. Continue to wear that mask. Get vaccinated. Encourage the people around you to get vaccinated and we can have back all of these things that are so precious to us. All right, 
that's that's what's coming if you have something you want to say some of you have emailed counsel some of you have emailed me some of you have called me uh, we appreciate the input we appreciate your sensibilities we are all in this together all right other things you need to know uh, the prayer list uh, looks much like it has uh, in the last week we have four families in the initial stages of grief uh, so uh, Marge's family and friends this is George's sister uh, Pat's family and friends this is Jeremy's mom the family and friends of Earl Fredrickson and the family and friends of Gail Gordon uh, all of those people are in the immediate stages of grief and I commend them to you that you would care for them and find ways to provide for them even during this time of separation the rest of the names you have seen before uh, there is a man undergoing medical tests who is requesting our prayers God knows who he is uh, and a man who is really desperately struggling uh, with uh, with MS uh, and so we lift those up in particular and remind you to be praying for that whole list we are continuing to collect items for personal care kits for baby kits and for school kits there is a link up uh, on the top of the website Site called care kits you link you click that and there will be detailed instructions uh, how to make these three kits remember creativity here is not your friend we want absolute uniformity we want robotic uniformity in making these kits so that there aren't struggles or conflicts uh, as they're passed out in a refugee camp someplace uh, if, if you can't uh, commit to being uh, robotically uncreative uh, we are happy to have you bring us pieces of kits and we'll assemble them uh, or financial contributions are always welcome there as well the quilters in both groups are always looking for material they are aware that we are going to very quickly here move into garage sale season and as you see gently used sheets blankets draperies you know any big piece of fabric we would love to have you uh, buy that and bring that in uh, and that will be turned into a quilt that will take care of shelter protect one of God's poorest children somewhere around the world uh, remember that if you have uh, Thrivent policies and qualify for choice dollars the deadline to uh, make those gifts is coming right up it's March 31st and both churches would be grateful to receive choice dollars from you track continues to be open to serve our community uh, and so uh, if you are in need of food or know someone who is Monday mornings or Thursday evenings it would be our honor to make sure that you have the food you need for the coming week there are four count them four college scholarships that are uh, being offered this year through the parish uh, many of them you do not need to be a parish member to get the scholarship so if you're watching this someplace take a look at the website see if any of these scholarships apply to you and we would be delighted to help you on your way the rest of the announcements are are as uh, written below i trust that you will read them if you have questions uh, or something you want to say give us a call i continue to be so incredibly grateful for your prayers and for your goodwill for your financial support over the last year you have been amazing and you have my gratitude and my respect Thank you so very much. Thanks for paying attention to these little announcements. Uh, enjoy the, uh, the message this week. I don't know if enjoy is work. May the message this week increase your faith and help us all to be more obedient. How about that? And may together we continue to be the body of Christ in this place or wherever it is that you're watching this video. In Jesus' name, amen.